All right. Uh, there have been some questions uh, in the chat regarding um, when I'm adding two things together in JavaScript, what happens? What's the difference between adding two strings together versus two numbers? And we're going to talk about that right now. So if you were to say in JavaScript, one number plus another number, this will actually do the math and give you back the result. So if I do this, we are going to get the ba back the value uh, 42. Um, so this is in a file called, what's it called? Uh, JS addition. Cool. So if I run this, I get 42. Great. Now, what happens if one of these things is a string? Um, what if I'm adding these two things together? And you can see my, my linter is yelling at me because it's like, hey, don't, don't add numbers in a string. So I'm going to disable my linter. Um, so adding two numbers together was fine. Adding two strings together in, in most languages, this would give you a type error. It would just be like, Hey, I don't know how to add numbers and strings together. Fix your code in JavaScript. It's going to do what's called type coercion. So if we run this code, we're actually going to get 21, 21. And you'll notice it's not yellow. It's uh, white, which means it's actually a, a string. So what happens is when JavaScript is uh, encounters addition between a number and a string, it coerces the number into a string and then does string concatenation. Because uh, I didn't show this, but we also can do string concat concatenation. So if I say like hello plus world, that's actually just going to create a new string that's the combination of those two strings. And that, that, that works just fine, hello world. But when we try to add a number in a string, that's where type coercion kicks in. And uh, type coercion, it, it sounds scary, but, but ultimately um, there is a, a description of how the type coercion algorithm works in JavaScript. So you can read the ECMAScript standard and it says, when the JavaScript engine encounters addition between a string and a number, the following steps should be performed. And basically the first step is convert the number to a string and then perform string concatenation. Now there's type coercion for a lot of other things. Like you could try to add, um, I think you can try adding uh, two, two booleans together. Yeah, and that gives us back to value two. So the type coercion al algorithm says, uh, when I encounter an addition between uh, booleans. I'm going to convert that boolean to a number. Um, yeah. Now, someone in the chat, I think it might have been David, who asked, "What happens when when we do this?" And the it basically all of this is defined by the type coercion algorithm. But we're going to read this thing from left to right. I'm going to try to guess what happens, and if I'm right, I get a cookie. So, string two plus string two, because it encounters this first. That's actually going to be 22. We saw that happen here, right? So when you concatenate two strings together, it's just them smacked together. So that's going to give us 22. Then we have a string subtracting another string. And the JavaScript co coercion algorithm is say, going to say, hey, I don't know how to subtract strings. So ultimately, what we're going to do is we're going to take this 22, convert it to a number, take this 2, convert it to a number, and then I have 22 minus 2. So my guess is that we're going to get 20, just like Q21 is saying, and probably other people in the chat. That's going to give us back 20. And it does. <laughs> but uh, like ultimately, you can read about the type coercion algorithm. You, you can read about what happens when different types are encountered. And, and, and this exists in JavaScript because JavaScript is a very beginner-friendly language. And, and um, the inventor of the, the JavaScript language thought, well, people might do things like this, whereas in other programming languages, it just breaks. And in this case, JavaScript tries to work on your behalf to, to make, it, make it work. Um, cool. So type coercion is not scary. You just have to know what happens when different types are trying to be added together. It's great. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, tune in on Twitch. You can join all these wonderful people and watch me live. <laughs> all right. See you then.